Good morning, kids. Welcome to Kids Church Online. We're so glad that you are here. Um, our fun session is going to begin in about 10 minutes. That means you have that long to go ahead and use the restroom. Go get your Bible and a notepad so you can follow along. We're also going to have some great music for you this morning, so get ready to dance and sing just like if we were all together. Also, during the lesson, if you have a question or a comment, then go ahead and type it into the comments so that a kids' church teacher can help you along and say hello. Every day I wrestle with the voices that keep telling me I'm not right, but that's all right, cause I
Welcome kids to Church Online. We're so excited to have you. Remember, we're gonna do some music, so make sure you have some room. Get your Bible, get your notebook so you can follow along. And also, don't forget, you can type messages to us or questions in the comments and a kids church name will respond back to you.
Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to a brand new series on parables. I'm so excited to share this with you guys today because a parable is a really important lesson. Parables come straight from Jesus, as a matter of fact. And guess what else? They're fiction. God used stories. Is it interesting to you to think that Jesus used stories to teach us things to help us understand better? These folks and these parables that we're going to be studying over the next few weeks, they didn't even have names. Jesus just told stories about fictional people. But they very well could have been true, I guess. So let's jump right in. Who's heard of the Sermon on the Mount? Raise your hand. Good. All of you. Have you guys heard about the Sermon on the Mount? It's a very long sermon that Jesus gave, packed full of great information. And after chapters and chapters of this wonderful sermon, he wraps it up with a parable. And it is called either the parable of the firm foundation or the parable of the wise and foolish builders. Those two things sound pretty, pretty mm -hmm. um, similar. Wise and foolish builders. Yeah. And firm foundation. Okay, I'm going with firm foundation right off the bat. That's what I'm going with. But let's read it. It's in the book of Matthew, which is in the Old Testament or the New Testament. Oh, no. New. <laughs> what did you guys think? Old or new? I don't know. <laughs> ah, new Testament. It's the first book of the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Remember? Matthew. Okay, well, anyway. Big number seven. Little number 24. All right. This is Jesus talking. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a sensible man who built his house on a rock. So, when Jesus starts out a sentence with therefore, hey, we are back to school, right? What does that mean? It means everything we just said and now, right? So everything I just said in this big Sermon on the Mount, and now. So therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a sensible man who built his house on the rock. And what if we hear the words and we don't act on them? Is that the same thing? It's not the same thing because part of it is and acts on them. That's key to know. Good listening ears. The rain fell, the rivers rose, the winds blew and pounded that house. Yet it didn't collapse because its foundation was on the rock. So what do you think Jesus was talking about by like winds and rain pounding on the house? Was it like you think real wind and real rain? Mm -hmm. oh. See, it's a parable. It's a story. One thing means another. I love Jesus. What he means is when storms of life come. So what might be an example of a bad rainstorm? Maybe it's like when someone that you love passes away. Maybe it's like when things just don't go right. Maybe it's like if your parents get divorced or your favorite baseball team loses or your dog dies, something terrible might be an example of a storm. Maybe a storm might just be when someone says that God isn't real. But if you're on the firm foundation and you get pounded, it, you won't collapse because your foundation will be on the rock. You'll fall. Let's say that you aren't such a sensible person. Jesus' words, not mine. But everyone who hears these words of mine and doesn't act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. Ooh, the beach. Yay. Woo. <laughs> Boo. Would you build a whole house? On the beach? Yes. yes. No. Ooh. On a rock, though. Oh. On a rock. Hmm. Not on the sand. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, let's find out. The rains fell, the rivers rose, the winds blew and pounded that 
house and it collapsed. And I like this part in the in the ESV. And its collapse was great. Great. Woo! And then you know what the next verse is? When Jesus had finished the sermon, the crowds were astonished at his teaching. That's how he ended the sermon. And the collapse was great. Great. Woo! This is amazing to me, you guys. I love this, that Jesus did this. is great. So, <clears throat> to demonstrate, voila! Okay. So, here's you. It's, it's a paper house, but let's pretend like it's you. I love it. It's okay. a two-story. Thanks. Mm -hmm. It is Thank two-story. A lot of kids want stairs in their house. I do not. Okay. <gasps> so, here we go. What do we think this represents? Uh, this rock. rock. The rock. The firm foundation. But what does it really represent? The brick. Building your life on God. Jesus and his yes. teaching. But not just hearing Jesus' teaching, but... Believing. Believing. Believing and also... Acting. 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 Acting on it, right? Because that's what Jesus says. If you hear and act, you're a sensible person. We want sensible, but also your house won't collapse. But let's just see. Sometimes it's good to see and just give it a try ourselves, okay? So there's you on a foundation of Jesus, living your life for Jesus, okay? This is you, Jesus. Okay, over here, foolish man. All right, what do we consider our sand to be? Foolish. Satan. It could be Satan. It also doesn't have to be that dramatic. It can also just be the world. It can just be not um, doing what yes, Jesus wants us to do. It could be um, like just being distracted from your Bible. It could just be getting on the wrong path and not choosing what Jesus would do every day. It really doesn't have to be Satan, although it could be, but it might also just be our bad choices yeah. and choices that separate us from Jesus, right? sin in our lives, if we're consistently being ugly, if we're consistently being disrespectful, all those things separate us from Jesus because he doesn't want that for us, right? So we build our foundation on Jesus. I didn't trick you. Okay. And let's see what happens. The winds, the rain, the storm, and yet our house stands. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not so much that the house is sturdy, but that your foundation is sturdy. Okay? Now, let's say we deviate from Jesus. Build our house on the sand. How does Jesus describe these folks? Foolish. Foolish. That's right. He says foolish. I like that word. I'll start using it more. All right, then the winds and the rain, the trouble comes, persecution comes, and bad things. Oh, the steam of madness. Well, that says it all, folks. We want the firm foundation. Mm -hmm. So when trouble comes, we are ready and we're standing firm. At least you'll fall in the sand and not a brick. But don't forget, it also means that you have to hear and act okay this is this is um one of my favorite parables because it makes so much sense which is exactly why jesus told parables is so that we can understand better what he wanted us to know so i look forward to seeing you all back next week for a brand new jesus parable and i love you let's pray dear god thank you so much for my friends Thank you so much that they paid attention today when listening about the wise builder and the foolish builder. Lord, my prayer for each one of my friends is that they are wise and that they build their lives on the firm foundation that only you can offer so that whenever bad things happen and the rain and the storm comes, they will not fall, but they will stand in your truth. Lord, I just pray that each one of my friends accepts that you died for them and that you are their salvation and that they can be in heaven with all of us and you forever. That's my prayer for them, Lord. Give us all a great week. 
Bless my kids and their families. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. This current is trying to wreck me Like castles of sand Castles of sand I feel like an enemy army Is marching again